to start right off the top with something that, that Pat Lodra said, and she is Newtown's first selectman, and this is what she had to say anticipating this anniversary. Our village of Sandy Hook was harmed irreparably by the chokehold that media traffic had on us for 10 days during the buying season of the year for those shops, and there is the emotional impact, clearly to be reminded in such a stark way of this horrible anniversary. We don't need this. We live this every day. We know what happened here. Her message, very plain, stay away uh, media. Uh, should the media stay away? What's your sense? Well, sure. And, and I think the media should stay away for a couple of reasons. Um, one is, is that when you go to the site of a violent event the year afterward and you start interviewing the people who were closest to the event, what you're really doing is, is you're, you're gathering up a type of emotional pornography. You're, you're dragging up the event again and you're reliving it because, because we in media know that that content sells. And it's cheap and in, it's, it's a cheap, easy way to, 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 to do the one year after story. I think in forcing the media to stay away, the, the people of Newtown are actually telling the media, we want you to do your jobs. We want you to actually do journalism that matters. We want you to help us as a nation understand this event in ways that just watching images of flickering candles and tearful people in prayer and a, and a litany of, of the dead um, doesn't get us to. And so, so I think what they're saying, in addition to we need our privacy, we have to deal with this every day, I think what they're also saying is go out and do, do real journalism around this issue.